Howdy, 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 everybody. Teresa here and... Bradley. Disgruntled Bradley, who's having a very bad day. <laughs> we'll tell you about that in a few minutes. It is August 23rd, 2016, Tuesday evening. It is 5.06 p.m. And what is the weather like, Mr. Heidi? The current weather in Panacea, Florida is 93 degrees. A high today of 93 degrees and a real feel of 111. Right. So the next four days are predicting a high of 91. So, but when we were out um, on that Skipper Bay Road, mm -hmm. uh, the Jeep showed 97 at one point in time. Oh, did it really? Yeah. yeah. So I knew we'll have to tell you about that. That was pretty cool. Um, it. I told you guys. I gave you guys another edition of Ghetto Fabulous. Yesterday, Brad uh, put together a couple of, um, of the divider crates I told you guys, uh, and it was much, much cooler back there yesterday and last night, so that's very nice. It's working out fine. Uh, I did end up taking a nap longer than I should have yesterday, and that meant that I had trouble sleeping. Um, uh, and I know you guys are going, you talk about this all the time. I know, I know, I know. I know. It, it's hard to not take a nap I have for so many years and I do okay if I take just an hour nap but when it's like a two or three hour nap then I can't sleep um, Brad made fried rice last night and that was very good um, and um, I watched a, a bunch of, of uh, uh, the Orange is the New Black last night um, and I don't know what Brad did he was just kind of bored uh, you know, because uh, he finished his books and, and stuff. There really wasn't anything on TV and, you know, so, you know. Um, and I loomed. I, I did a couple more Those little hats. Did a little boy hat here. And I did a little girl hat here. And this is um, that hot, that neon orange, orange pink type. Yeah, so that's what that is there. So got a couple more of those done for donation. Um, you know, uh, and um, yesterday we were still working on getting the ID number for my scripts. They have a special program which makes the script cheaper. Brad working on it all day today, too. This is the biggest cluster muck you would ever want to see right now. We still don't have it resolved. That's cover. You know, you know, this person blaming this person and this this company blaming this company and so they're under investigation. They admit now that we were overcharged last month for the prescription because we wanted a refund because you know you you can't you know, I mean, it was we paid more than we should have, and you know, and stuff. So they're still working on it. So I still don't have my script, but I'm okay for a few more days. We went and ran a few errands. Um, we went to the post office, and I got some happy mail, which which really cheered me up. And it's so nice. I have such a great friend. Uh, my friend, my dear friend Mary Jacinto, um, sent me this beautiful card while she was on vacation. Um, and, um, oh, I'll have to, uh, I haven't let Brad see it. This is done by an artist there, and it has all statistics about, um, this gun that he did the sketch of on this cannon. Honey? You what? Sorry, sweetie. <laughs> it's this, this, this cannon that he did this drawing of. Uh -huh. Then on the back it's got all statistics of the oh, cannon and everything cool. and the history. And everything so you know oh, you might want to and then that, she right? wrote a big long note in there for us in there thank you so much Mary that really was neat then my secret admirer friend from YouTube that lives in Little Rock which I wish I knew who you were sent me sent, uh, I'm not sure if this card was meant for me or for Brad um, uh, and she sent a little bit of money in it which you didn't have to do but thank you so much and that is going to help yes, get the prescription. So, so um, you know, because, uh, and then my dear friend Val from the neighbors, she uh, sent me a thank you card. And then she also, she colors these and, and they're beautiful. 
and I will so she did that one I love this one this one she did which has a thank you note which is private but you know and she did this one and then she did this one which is really cute thank you so much Val from the neighbors check out their channel um, and I you know what I do with these is um, well the bigger one I'll hang up but these smaller ones I use them as bookmarks so I see them all the time you know in my book so that's lovely you know so I like to use cards that people have sent me as bookmarks because like I said then I see them all the time it makes me think about you so um, you know or if they're hanging up um, so and then we went to the library and I checked out four movies um, I checked out this um, uh, Left Behind which is one that Brad might like too you might like this movie too okay. if you want to read about it I do and then I got I checked out this Letters to Juliet which he won't like <laughs> In Enemy Hands which he might like too that's another interesting one. And then this one is, I'll see you in my dreams, which he won't like. <laughs> I like William H. Macy. Yeah. So. Shovel Man. And then he got a couple Terry Brooks books, Magic Kingdom and The Black Unicorn. He checked out. And then another one, which is C.J. C. Box. CJ Box is uh, a Wyoming native, and I went to school with his sister, mm -hmm. and uh, I used to, I knew his mother. She used to come in the grocery store where I worked all the time. Yeah. So Brad thought he would read, read one from, mm -hmm. and Brad met the author yeah. a few times also. Um, just some crossing paths and stuff. And yeah. then I got a couple of Stephen King that I haven't read. This one is Dr. Sleep. And then I have this book, but it's in storage, and, and I don't think I've read it, which is a different season. So I checked out those two books. Um, anybody tell me, anybody who's a, a big fan of Stephen King, and I haven't Googled it yet, I'm looking for the book called Rose Red. Now, was that movie adapted from... I know that it's Stephen King's work, but was the title of the book something else that I'm not seeing? Was it Red Drummer, or was it something else? Because I'm not seeing it. When I'm looking on Amazon, I was looking for the book, and I'm not finding Rose Red. So, and I, so, and I haven't done any more research on it. So, if you guys know, let me know. Because I really kind of wanted to read that. Um... What else? Let me see. Where's my cheat sheet? There's my cheat sheet. Um, oh. Then we went for a little extra long drive. Um, we went to, we've been wanting to check out this road called Skipper Bay. It's right before you hit Panacea. And it goes back into what we thought would be a bay. It really wasn't. It was, it was pretty cool. It was all very washboard sandy roads um and uh when you're driving along you see you know how you would see like a whole scattering of like ants it was all little crabs that way on the road all diving into their little holes and i mean these things are just teeny tiny look like teeny tiny little beetle but yeah it is funny to watch them run inside waiting stuff and then you know some of it was just a canopy of trees and palm trees and stuff I mean, I got some really cool pictures to work from back in there. Um, and then, uh, so we had a nice drive there, saw some cool stuff. Um, I was watching a turtle with eating some fish. Uh, and there was like all these little fish. We don't know what they were in this canal. And then I saw this one, um, uh, some kind of a crane um, with grabbing fish and eating them too. Um, so we, we did that nice leisurely drive. Then we're coming back through Panacea and we hear a snap. At first we thought it would almost sound like maybe a cattle guard that you run over just briefly. We look behind us and there's nothing laying in the road or anything. 
but then the engine starts to flash that um, uh, um, the to check the battery of stuff and um, uh, we th Brad thought maybe it was a serpentine belt. You know, we're shutting off everything. We shut off the air conditioner, open up the window, shut off the radio. You know, I unplugged the, you know, the USB cords, you know, so nothing between it. And I am praying as hard as possible for God just to let us get home. Because I want to get home to my animals. Because, you know, all the dogs and cats are here and stuff. And, and you know, because it's very hot out and stuff. And luckily we just barely kind of coasted into this RV park. And then Brad checked underneath. And not the serpentine belt, it's the pulley. It's a pulley. And yeah. I think it's off the alternator. The pulley broke. So I don't know it what did, it's going to huh? take to fix that and put the serpentine belt back on. So we're not sure what we're going to do because that's our only vehicle. And, of course, we don't have any money. And even when... He gets his retirement. We don't really have any money because um, we needed to get the Jeep retagged this month. Um, so I'm not sure what we're going to do. <sighs> Keep praying on it. And I'm not sure. Brad feels very down about this whole situation right now, guys. And, and uh, you know, uh, and I can't blame him. And he feels like, you know, We've had a lot of bad things happen, and I know there's, there's worse things that can happen, but, you know, when you have your only vehicle, it's like that Friday he's got an appointment in, in in Crawfordville for the disability doctor. He cannot miss. He cannot miss that appointment, you know. And um, so I'm not sure what we're going to do. Um, you know. I'm not sure. Brad might be able to get a ride with, with one of our neighbors into Crawfordville. I'm not sure. Um, not sure what's going to happen, but uh, it we'll get, wasn't. We'll get it figured out. I know. I'm just saying it wasn't what we certainly needed. It's, you know, and I'm not sure how much it's going to cost to fix. I mean, um so, yeah, that's, that's what's going on there. Um, you know, we still have to go back into Crawfordville and get my prescriptions, too. Because uh, uh, they were going to investigate it and decide if they were going to issue us a refund or not. So we were kind of waiting to see if, if then our, the scripts I have that I need to get, which are the Lasix and the potassium, would be less. Uh, you know, so, um, that, that's all that's going on. We're supposed to cook pork steak tonight. Oh, I better get those out of the freezer. Yeah, so, yeah, but he feels very defeated. I mean, this has been such, such a, it's been a hard journey. It's been a very hard year. Um, like it has been for so many of us. Um, you know, and, uh, I know a lot of my friends are going through really rough times, too, in all different dynamics, whether or not they're fighting a terminal illness or a critical illness and, um, you know, or financially or uh, grieving uh, to the loss of a loved one. And, um, but yeah, uh, I, I just feel like God has us going through this for a reason. I tell you what, since we have moved and on the way here and stuff, I have prayed more than I've ever prayed probably before in my life, seriously. Uh, and it doesn't matter what you believe in. You know, if you if you pray to, to, to a goddess or you pray to a god or you pray to a tree or, you know, whatever. It's all kind of, to me, the same. You're, you're you know, you're praying to something or you're, you're believing in something. Or maybe you don't believe in any of it. Um... But uh, I know something good is gonna gonna come about one way or another. Um, glad we went for that little bit of a ride today because yeah, it looks like we're gonna be stranded for a while. Um, you know, I don't know how long. You know, Brad's really stressed out. 
really, really stressed out. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what's going to happen. Um, you know, <laughs> I think at this point in time, he's almost about ready to find him a job he could walk to. <laughs> you know, because, uh, yeah. But, uh, so send good vibes, because we really need this Jeep. Like I said, it's our only vehicle. And, um, you know, uh, we kind of need a vehicle. We don't live close to any services. You know, it's like even if we lived in Tallahassee, we'd be able to take a bus, but there's no services at all here. You know, and a taxi would be expensive. Um, so, you know, like I said, we know enough people that we probably could get a ride or borrow a vehicle or something, but, you know, hopefully. Um, that's all we really got. Like I said, Brad's just having a really crap day and, and you know. But I've got you. So that you makes, got me. That makes it. That makes it right. Okay. Good. 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 We'll get through it. We've been through rougher stuff. Yeah, we have. I mean, we've been through some rough stuff. Um, you know. Um, whatever your biggest fear is, a lot of times that that whatever you worried about happening, that might happen, and then you're like, okay, you know, I was kind of concerned this might happen. I tell you what, though, we're in a better position right now having this breakdown than we were if we lived in Wyoming still because we would have nobody yeah. to ask for a ride. Seriously. I mean, you know, our daughters, yes, but both of our daughters work and have their own families and are busy, and I don't want to burden them. But besides that, we would have nobody to ask. I, we wouldn't have any neighbors that would be willing to. I mean, you know. Um, so, yeah, it'll all work out. Um... But that's just what is going on. Yeah. Right, hon? Right, baby. And, um, yeah. Just keep on plugging away. Just keep on, I want to keep on making my hats and, uh, you know, for donation. Um, you know, when I donate stuff, it's never that I feel sorry for anybody I'm donating to. I donate to people that, that, I, I send stuff to my friends that I know can afford stuff. It, whether or not I give you a gift isn't based on whether I feel sorry for you or not. It's just because I like you and I love you and I, you know, made this for you. And it's the same way when I donate hats or any kind of knitwear. It's not that I pity people. I mean, oh, certainly we're in no position to be thinking of anybody else lower than us. You know, seriously. Yeah. You know, and I know a lot of people say, how can you still donate when you guys are struggling so much? Well, but I have plenty of yarn. I And I have, you know, I have the ability to be able to do that. And I feel like, you know, when God gets me with yarn and stuff, I've had a few friends, you know, this was like at Christmas time and stuff. And, and shortly after, they sent me some yarn, like Deep Martin sent me my first ever Sinwood loom, which I still love. The two Sinwood looms I have, she she sent me, and then she sent me in the first one, a bunch of yarn, which just is wonderful. Um, you know, and that helped. And a few times, like in we were in Wyoming, I was able to find some, some uh, cheap uh, yarn at um, uh, like uh, Goodwill and stuff, so you know. And I ran across a few auctions back when when I could still order a really good priced yarn, you know. So, you know, I'm not worried about it. I one time I watched this one guy, and he he, he made just he made just hats, and I think he either knitted them or crocheted them. I think he knitted them. And what he would do is, he only likes a certain kind of yarn, is he would go to all the thrift stores and look for the, the sweaters and stuff. And then he would unravel all the yarn from the sweaters, wow. and he would remake them into different hats. You know, and then he sold the hats. Wow. Yeah. But it was pretty neat. But anyway... I know a lot of people are really struggling, really, really struggling with depression and with things being hard. And you know what? You just got to keep plugging along. You got to keep thinking each day is a new day and a chance for a better day and stuff. You know, I mean, 
things are hard for a lot of people. And things have a lot of people have things a lot worse than we do. So whatever you think is just something you can't handle. There's always somebody out there who would give anything to be in your shoes. Mm -hmm. I point as we were driving by today. I pointed to my husband uh, to a graveyard and I said, you know, it always could be worse. Mm -hmm. You know. So anyway, I hope everybody has a great day and. I think you guys are awesome, and I do cherish your friendship, and say bye, Brad. Bye, Brad. Brad's eating a piece of muffin bread. <laughs> bye, guys.